So let's talk about the dehydration of, of, of amides to nitriles, okay? And then we're going to talk about the special reagent here. So we know what amides look like. It's a carbonyl that has some nitrogenous compound bonded uh, adjacent to it. And so if I take benzamide, in this case, this is benzamide. If I take benzamide and I add this wonderful reagent, POCl3, which is here. This is called phosphorus oxytrichloride. If I take phosphorus oxytrichloride and react it with benzamide, I get D-nitrile. I get D-nitrile. Okay. Now, we need to know the mechanism for this one, okay? We need to know the mechanism for this one. So, I'm going to take a more simpler amide. So, if I take this amide, okay? has a nitrogen that has two hydrogens okay and react it with phosphate oxytrichloride but the molecule looks something like this it's a phosphorus that's double bonded to an oxygen with three chlorines around it okay so this is how phosphorus oxytrichloride looks okay so in the first step of the mechanism what's going to happen is that these bonds that are adjacent that are, that are bonded to the nitrogen will come in form a double bond okay and once it forms a double bond, these pi electrons here are going to kick off on the oxygen. Okay. And that simultaneously, these same pi electrons, uh, these same lone pairs that are kicked off on the oxygen now will actually attack the phosphorus atom. Yeah. And once you attack the, attack, the phosphorus atom, is going to dip, displace one of the chlorines. So it displaces one of the chlorines. So this all happens to one step. Okay, so now we come to a molecule that looks like this. We have our CH3. This is now bonded to a carbon that's single bonded to an oxygen. That's now bonded to phosphorus with double bonded to an oxygen and now two chlorines since one left. And we still have this double bonded. We Now we now form a double bond and we have this hydrogen here. Okay, now what will happen in the next step? Okay, what will happen in the next step is the same procedure. So. The bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen, the nitrogen and the hydrogen will come in to form a bond. Okay, and this bond here will actually break to form a double bond. Now, once that breaks to form a double bond, simultaneously I'm going to displace another chlorine atom. Okay, so I want you to see the bond breaking procedure here. And so with that being said, we now form CH3 that is bonded to a carbon that now has a triple bond. Okay. And we also form what? We also form a phosphorus that now has two double bonds to an oxygen and one chlorine since the, the other left. Okay, so this is the dehydration mechanism of, of, of amides to, to nitriles. Okay, and it, it doesn't get much more simpler than that. Any amide, I take phosphorus oxychloride and react it, I get the nitrile.